Take a chariot. Postponing the trip. Take these ones for Infant Jesus and uh, Vincent Peter Road. Then, um, um, bad uh, working environment. Somebody, if you have. Infant Jesus is a road in Delta State, in Asaba. Please. Um, the environment in the NDDC headquarters today is very poor. If you've been there, cramped, packed rooms. So somebody is talking about there's no justification to go to a new headquarters building that's been going on for almost 20 years. Lassa fever kits, maternal delivery kits, science equipment for secondary schools, all those contracts and payments were before the IIMC2 came on board. We didn't do any Lassa fever payments. Lassa fever payments, let me give you the expenditure profile of the IMC before me so that you can see the payments. I'm going to give you the documents of the Lassa fever kits and everything before we came in. Then um, I think I'll stop for now. But the thing is that like, um, we've gone through a media trial and be judged. I've seen all things about face of a thief, my face, face of a thief. For, with no proof of me stealing anything. I'm going to get documents to hand over to Secretariat so that you can, uh, uh, thank you. Hello. Honorable colleagues, uh, you heard the MD. So, is any member that has question in relation to the presentation that you have made? Mr. Chairman. 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 Honorable Ben. Bakwa, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Honorable Ben Roland Igbakwa. I represent Ethiopia East. Ethiopia West, and by the special grace of God, we're from Delta State. MD, sir, you know you are my brother. Who authorizes the information that leaves NDDC? I want it to be interactive. Sorry, what, what, what you publish in pages of newspaper and television interviews? Television news. We. We have a, a corporate affairs uh, directorate. Who authorizes them before they go out? I do. You do? Yes. On, on Monday, June 29, 2020, okay. there were a, a number of daily newspaper publications signed by one Charles Audley, Director of corporate, headquarters, uh, corporate Affairs. And in that publication, you said, that's as of June 29, because just here now, you told us, May, that you've only paid about 30, 38 million. And in that publication, the total you said you have paid was 35 million, 353,000, uh, 35 billion, 353,910,54. Can you explain the discrepancies between what you just told us and that publication, if you actually approve that? information out to the public. I actually approve this and even in this my small report it is clearly stated there that as per the 31st of May 38.6 billion had been paid for projects. The but publication is for June 29. Yes, it's we were showing 35. what had been paid as per the 5th of May when the National Assembly made the allegations of a 40 billion era missing. We needed to show that there was no 40 billion era missing, so we calculated the payments as per that 5th of May, and that's what was published. Now, but what was what you have paid as at May is 38. 38.6. And as at June, you added more to it? Of course. You do yeah. fresh payments? I mean, like uh, the NDDC is not a bank. We don't save money. And as I said, we we're trying to clear um, backlogs of because we have cases in the court, garnishy orders. We 
just even finished paying um, a contractor who won cases against us, 400 million naira. Okay, that's and, one. And because of that... Don't worry, that's, that's good, that's good. You told us, we have listened to you, we listened to what you did in the Senate, where you said that a whopping 1.5 billion is to take care of ourselves. Is there any budget line to authorize that take care of ourselves in the budget of 2019 that we approve for you? I, I, I mean, like, um, if I had said uh, take care of ourselves, I must have said that in and, anger. And yes, sir. You are before this committee. Answer the question direct. Because you are under oath. I'm under oath. Yes. yes. Answer I'm the question. That the 1.5 billion, 1.5 billion it, it COVID-19 palliative you took. It was not 1.5 billion, please. The figure is shown clearly. Tell us, tell us the figure. It's 1.32. 1 1.32. 1 what? Billion, billion, yes. 1.32 billion. Yes. Now the question the Honorable Man, Honorable House Member is asking you. Yeah. Where did you have in the budget line in 2019 where you derived that power to spend that money? That's I, the question. I, I, I will provide that answer for you. I will check. I don't want to lie on that oath. I will provide the answer for you. Uh, MD. <laughs> MD. MD. Yes, sir. I know you are a very learned person. You are one of the most learned person in this room. You don't, you don't have answer for it now. Okay. It means you spent money. Can you agree with us? Will it be right for us to say that you did extra budgeted expenses, which was not budgeted for? Uh, I will not say so. Um, let me ask my EDP to explain because I don't want to, I think he has more facts concerning that. Is he under oath? Okay, it's not under oath. That's why I said I will provide the answer. I said I will provide the answer. Now, uh, MD, you have the budget with you. The budget of 2019, you have it with you, correct? MD, 2019 budget, in which you have told this committee that you is the budget you are operating on. You have it. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I said I will provide the answer to you. <laughs> no. You have the budget with you. In front of me, yes, sir. The budget. The budget you are operating. 2019 budget. I will provide the answer, Mr. Chairman, sir. No. We'll bring this to you, sir. Ah, we'll bring this to you. It will be sent to your committee. MD. MD. Mr. Chairman, sir. MD. Mr. Chairman, sir. The budget of 2019, you tendered it. Yeah. I tendered the... You tendered the budget of 2019, yeah. I gave the letter from That the is not the budget. That's not the budget we signed. The budget we signed for you in 2019, you have it here. Okay, they said they have gone to make up I said huh? I will provide this to you. Okay, you, don't, you don't have the budget here. Yes, I don't have it here. You don't have the budget I here. I don't have it here. It will be provided to you. But I don't know if other people who... Mr. Chairman, sir. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, sir. Please. Mr. Chairman. My leaders and colleagues. Uh, Mr. Chairman, with your permission, may I request that uh, the clerk of the secretariat furnishes this gentleman a copy of the budget we have put for him. If you, don't, if you are not harmed, because I've read the letter given to you, you have various documents that you are asked to furnish this committee. So if you don't have the budget here, our, we have a committee on library and research. The clerk, please get us a copy of the 2019 approved budget for, this, for, the, for the acting MD. Mr. Chairman, 
Mr. Chairman, no, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Please, my honorable colleagues, I would love the chairman to allow the acting MD to ask the other person to take an oath so that he can answer the question, not till we wait for him. Please. See, MD, uh, my leaders and colleagues, post on to section 20. It is the MD yeah. that we have business with here. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Don't worry, sir. We will help you. We will help you to get to, to that everybody gets justice here. Me, Madam Clark, let's have a copy of the approved budget. The budget. Then, Mr. Chairman, my colleagues, we, start be, we now begin to look at all the expenditure he has incurred, whether they are contained in the budget or not. And if the debts we are paying, if they were captured in the budget, we also see it there. It is then we can come to a conclusion. A procurement uh, scholar is there. <laughs> yes. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Ms. MD, please. From the report that you have given, the financial report, acting MD, from the financial report, how much did you receive any time day? How much did you receive in the, from the time this interim management committee had been set up? How much has the interim management committee received? That's not its own committee. Thanks. Yes. From uh, the federal government remittances. In, in total, I'm trying to break down. We get about 6.4 billion monthly, which stopped in uh, June. Well, we've not done anything since June. Then we have some payments from the oil companies, very little. Um, I'm, I, I, I I've computed it before, but MD. Yes, sir. You are the chief accounting officer of the commission. I agree with you, sir. How much have you received? This interim management committee. How much have you received so far? So far, this interim management committee will have received about seventy-two billion. Mr. Chairman, in accounting parlance. We don't say about two plus two is four. So, uh, acting MD, with documentary evidence. I will provide that. No, sir, excuse me, sir. If you don't have them here, then we are being ambushed. Then we're not able to do anything. So, we have to speak to records. No meanderings. Let us speak to records. Your DFA should be handy. It should be around you here to support you, to help you. You came on board in February, between February and uh, July. Or June, let's say June. How much have you received from various sources as captured in the Act setting up NDDC? And I, I think that's section NDC Act. He's trying to say. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, sir, while while the MD is trying to while the MD is trying to give us how much you receive from January to date, MD, I have a question for you. You paid at the MD. You paid. 641 million naira to clear point communication. 641 million to clear point communication. You paid to them as the MD of NDDC. Is that money budgeted for in 2019? What are the money meant for? 641 million to clear point communication. What are the purpose of the money paid to them? And is this money budgeted to uh, in 2019 budget, uh, budget for clear point communication? Thank you. Yes, sir. This money 
is part of the 2.5 billion naira that is in for the forensic audit in the 2019 budget. Andy, yes, sir. Please speak out. Speak out. For the 2019 budget, there was a proposal for 2.5 billion for the uh, forensic audit, out of which about um, 1.2 was approved. And out of that, um, I think uh, 318 was approved for the lead forensic auditors, and only a small percentage has been paid out before the uh, budget expired on the 31st. Yes. You didn't say anything about that. Okay. Andy. Yes, sir. I believe I'm going to ask questions and should be answered so that Nigerians should know. Yeah. I said, this money you paid to clear point communication, the money entails for what? What oh, did you contract? Okay, the purpose for the... Just hold on. Hold on. What this money entails for? And is this money budgeted in 2019? That's my question to you. Okay, thank you very much. The money was paid to Clearpoint Communication for a variety of uh, purposes all related to the forensic audits. The, there are 185 local government areas and each of them was budgeted for 3.46 uh, million. One, uh, allowances for coordinators per local government area, training for the coordinators, setting up of um, information desk for the coordinators. These coordinators are the people to identify the sites of all the projects in the NDDC area. Because part of the problems, if you read the Auditor General's uh, 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 report on NDDC between 2008 and 2012. Okay, hold on. You contracted Clearpoint Communication to itemize or point the project you have in NDDC areas? Is that what you're trying to say? They will get local people in each of the local government. They will recruit local people in each of the local government areas to identify these uh, sites. The site for what? While the MD is trying to, while the MD is trying to give us how much you receive from January to date, MD, I have a question for you. You paid Acting MD. You paid six hundred and forty-one million naira to clear point communication. 641 million to clear point communication. You paid to them as the MD of NDDC. Is that money budgeted for in 2019? What are the money meant for? 641 million to clear point communication. What are the purpose of the money paid to them? And is this money budgeted to uh, in 2019 budget, uh, budget for clear point communication. Thank you. Yes, sir. This money is part of the 2.5 billion naira that is in for the forensic audit in the 2019 budget. Andy, yes, sir. Please speak out. Speak out. For the 2019 budget, there was a proposal for 2.5 billion for the uh, forensic audit, out of which about um, 1.2 was approved. And out of that, um, I think uh, 318 was approved for the lead forensic auditors, and only a small percentage has been paid out before the uh, budget expired on the 31st. Yeah. You didn't say anything about that. Okay. MD. Yes, sir. I believe I'm going to ask questions and should be answered so that Nigerians should know. Yeah. I said, this money you paid to clear point communication, 
the money intends for what? What did you contract? Okay, the purpose for the... Just hold on. Hold on. What this money intends for? And is this money budgeted in 2019? That's my question to you. Okay, thank you very much. The money was paid to ClearPoint Communication for a variety of uh, purposes all related to the forensic audits. The, there are 185 local government areas and each of them was budgeted for 3.46 uh, million. One, uh, allowances for coordinators per local government area, training for the coordinators, setting up of um, information desk for the coordinators. These coordinators are the people to identify the sites of all the projects in the NDC area. Because part of the problems, if you read the Auditor General's uh, 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 report on NDDC between 2008 and 2012. Okay, hold on. You contracted ClearPoint Communication to itemize or point the project you have in NDDC areas? Is that what you're trying to say? They will get local people in each of the local government. They will recruit local people in each of the local government areas to identify these uh, sites. The site for what? Where the NDDC projects are. Because okay. most times when they go for uh, inspection, people are not able to locate these projects. And so we needed local people who will guide and so also... You pay, hold on. So you pay six for one million for a clear point communication, con maybe a consulting company, to locate, to ask people to locate projects no, no, of NDDC? Excuse, listen, Your sir. Your own project. Listen, sir. The people need to be trained also. As pointers for projects. If you, listen, listen we, we were trying to change the narrative. If you... Just leave. I, I, I didn't finish. I, I can, I, I think... So, sorry, please. Sorry. So, so the clear point, the only work we contract clear point to do is to ask people to no, point no, no, project no. for you. Clear point has been a consultant in the NEDC before I even came in. Clear point has been. But uh, it's named clear being, point communication. They are putting desks, tables, and I mean, I mean, help desks, communication desks in all the places to locate the projects. Okay, is that is that budgeted in 2019? Is 641 budgeted for clear point in the line item of 2019 budget? Is it budgeted for that purpose to clear point communication? I wouldn't say it was uh, clear points is written in that budget as a line item. I don't think so. Okay. Again, you paid 536 million naira to a company with the tagging of the campaign Save Life in the Nara Delta area. That company, we want to know the company. And uh, is this 531 million equally budgeted for to save lives of Niger Delta people? That's another question for you. Save life campaign. 536 million naira. You paid it. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing out issues based on the report you give us to the committee. 641 to clear point communication, 536 to save life campaign in the adult area. I will need to check and get back to you. You need to check? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Okay. Next thing. Who should be saving life? Mr. Chairman, thank you for yielding the floor to me, Mr. Chairman. Do I have the floor? Yes. Yeah. You All right. Mr. Chairman, um, MD, uh, the first point I want to make is that you should not be irritated that we are asking you questions about the budget under Section 80 of the 1999 Constitution, which guides us. Okay. Apart from lawmaking, the other job we do is oversight. We have this power of the post. It's one of the strongest, the, one of the most important powers we have, power of the post. 
That pause is the budget. And that is why virtually every question we are asking you here has to do with the budget. The budget is very important, even to private individuals, because you are not expected as an agency to spend money outside your budget. I hope you know that. Yes, sir. Now, you told us under oath right here that you are still preparing to pay money to students who are on scholarship. Now, we are aware that you don't have a 2020 budget yet. What you are operating is the 2019 budget, which, as you know and as we know, ended May 31st, 2020. We are now in July. So you are not expected to be spending money from budget 2019. It has expired. From where are you going to spend this money you said here on oath that you are preparing to pay students who are on scholarship? Are you aware that every expenditure you make from 31st May till date are not, uh, are not, Thank you. 